local New York City guide and Coney Island is full of secrets. This video is the top 11 secrets about Coney Island. Coney Island is full of firsts. So you have the first hot dog, the first escalator, the first frozen custard, all these good things and more. Uh, by the way, the first roller coaster, how could I forget? But did you know that the first roller coaster was not the Cyclone and the first hot dog was not at Nathan's? For that and more secrets, just keep watching, click that subscribe button, check out the blog post, link down below for more, and let's go. Originally called the Land Without Shadows by the Lenape tribes, the Dutch renamed it to Coney Island after the many rabbits found along the coast. The hot dog was invented in Coney Island, but not actually by Nathan's, which a lot of people think is the original. The original Nathan's location is behind me. The original place that invented the hot dog was actually at Feltman's, right down the street. Feltman's is no longer open, unfortunately. They came back for a little bit in 2017, but they are no longer located here. So when you're looking for a hot dog, the original, gotta check out Nathan's. Right here, there are two locations, one right behind me, the original, and one on the boardwalk. And the boardwalk one actually usually has a lot less of a line. This one behind me is pretty packed for 10.30 a.m. when they open, but highly recommend it. If you want a New York City hot dog, this is it. German immigrant Charles Feltman invented the hot dog in 1867 to make it easier to eat sausages on the go without plates or silverware. Nathan Handwerker was actually an employee at Feltman's and he built a competitive stand right down the street and that is how we got Nathan's. Originally 10 cents per hot dog, these hot dogs now go for over $4.75. It's crazy. They also serve seafood, highly recommend it, even frog legs. Kind of crazy, but I had to go with the classic Nathan's hot dog. Enough talking, let's actually eat this hot dog. Glamour shots, glamour shots first. Gotta, gotta get them glamour shots. Mm. Tastes like a hot dog. <laughs> it's very good. Very crunchy, crispy on the outside. Soft on the inside. Good bun. Yeah, it's a classic. A must here in Coney Island. Frozen custard was invented in Coney Island to replace ice cream that melted too quickly in the heat. In 1919, Archie C. Kaur invented frozen custard by adding egg yolks to ice cream, which didn't melt as quickly and had a soft serve texture. The Kaur brothers moved their creamy custard to New Jersey, but Rita's Italian ice brought it back to Coney Island in 2014. Another classic to order is the Italian ice. The first ever roller coaster was invented in 1884 in Coney Island, but it wasn't the Cyclone. Though the Cyclone is a historic ride dating back to 1927, the first ever ride was a switchback railway that opened June 16, 1884 and traveled six miles per hour. This five cent ride saw lines of up to five hours long. Next, there was a Thunderbolt in 1925, the Tornado in 1926, and then the Cyclone in 1927. Coney Island was North America's first permanent enclosed amusement park that charged an admission fee to enter the then Sea Lion Park that was later replaced with Luna Park. Coney Island had the first bike path in America in 1894. You can ride it still today for about five miles along Ocean Parkway between Coney Island and Prospect Park. It is now designated a historical landmark designed by Olmsted and Vox in the 1860s. The first escalator was invented here on Coney Island by Jesse W. Reno. He invented it as the first incline elevator, but it only went up seven feet, and it was a whole attraction for only about two weeks before they actually moved it to the Brooklyn Bridge. Cary Grant, the famous Hollywood star, began his career as an acrobat walking on stilts through the Bowery in Coney Island to advertise Steeple Chase Park. Sigmund Freud said, the only thing about America that interests me is Coney Island. The famous psychoanalyst 
visited Dreamland in 1909, which had a reputation of hedonism and sexuality, with gambling and drinking that he believed was a great place to study the id. The Wonder Wheel was sold recently because of a proposal. The iconic Wonder Wheel invented by Charles Herman was built by Garms from 1918 to 1920. When Garms died in 1935, his son Fred took over looking for a new owner by the 1980s. Dino de Vorderis, who owned and operated a nearby kitty park, proposed to his wife Lula in front of the wheel in 1948 and said, if you marry me, I'll buy you the Wonder Wheel. He couldn't because it wasn't for sale back then, but eventually he did buy it from Garms for $250,000. There is a graveyard of ships in the creek where old ships and barges were dismantled and scuttled. There's also a yellow submarine there that Jerry Bianco dreamed to build and used to salvage the remnants of an Italian ocean liner that sank off the coast of Nantucket in 1956. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Check out the blog post linked down below for more. I have a ton more videos all about Coney Island and New York City. So just keep watching. As always, say yes to new adventures, and I'll see you next time.